Hi, I am Jean-Luc, Sales and Marketing Coordinator here at WolfTech, and this is a WTB26 photoelectric sensor made by SICK. Today, I'll show you how to adjust it into this WolfTech tip of the day episode presented in collaboration with Support Pro. Let's dive right into it by looking at the top of the sensor. There are two yellow dials as well as some LED indicators. The dial located on the back is your teach and turn button for the sensing distance. And the front one is used to set and adjust the sensor signal delay type and duration. Both dials are linked to a blue LED display that shows their current adjustment. There are two more LEDs located towards the back of the sensor. The green one shows that the device is currently energized and the yellow one informs you about the status of the infrared light beam. In other words, it will turn on when an object is being detected. Okay, now that we know more about the sensor, let's talk about the adjustment process for our wrappers. First, you need to mount connect and align the sensor. The goal here is to aim across the center of the wrapping area. Then, with the equipment being powered up, you need to set the sensing distance. This could be done by placing an object at the distance where you want the sensor to be adjusted to, and then press and hold the sensitivity dial for about two seconds. By doing so, the sensor will record the distance to the target and will use that as a sensitivity range you should now see the corresponding blue LEDs showing your adjustment. And you can also turn the dial to fine tune your sensing distance. Just as a quick note here, we found that for a standard wrapper, the average sensing distance would show the first four blue LEDs being lit up. At this point, you should be able to run the wrapper and go through the adjustment process you should first ensure that the wrapper is running at the right speed with the proper fin tension and then change your time delay adjustments. Press and release the time delay dial until the blue LED shows the T2 selection. At this point, you can turn the dial to increase or decrease the delay duration, uh, ranging between 0 and 30 seconds as shown with the LED indicator. Just like with the sensing distance, more lights equal more time. And of course, a longer delay will create a larger load overwrap result. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you found it useful. Please leave a comment down below and feel free to share ideas of subjects you would like me to cover into the upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching and have a great day.